Okay, so, um, we, we all probably know about, you know, big games and, like, you know, game fam. Um, you, you know, like, two, two of the most recognizable, you know, like, companies, like, you know, kind of companies on Roblox and stuff like that, you know, which most of the time you've heard of them, you know, um, they got into, got in, got into, like, you know, like, a lot of drama, you know, and I mean, a lot. And yet, somehow, Roblox still recommends me their stupid, like, their fucking games, you know? Like, um, yeah, if, like, but, yeah, you probably, like, heard of, you know, like, some drama revolving around, you know, Game Fam and big games and stuff like that, you know? Like, with Game Fam, um, you know, like, they miss, like, they don't pay their employees well and stuff, like, don't credit them with their work, you know? Um, you, you know, like, threaten to, like, fire some of them, you know? Um, and with big games, you know, like, su like, suing, like, suing ro some Roblox games because they used cubed pets. I still can't get over that. Cubed pets. They do not own the fucking rights to cubed pets! <clears throat> and, and yet, they, and, and yet, and, yeah, and yet, they, they look, they literally put Lucky Blocks into their games, you know, which, obviously, uh, Lucky Blocks were kind of, you know, created by, um, Nintendo, you know, with Mar Super Mario and stuff like that. And yet, they think they have the rights to the to cubed pets, you know. And they they think, like, they actually created those cubed pets. Which, in reality, they didn't, you know. And yeah, um, yeah, with Game Fam and stuff like that, you know. Um, they have, like, some Roblox games, like SpongeBob Simulator. Like, you know, Sonic Speed Simulator. Like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battle Tycoon. Like, My Hero Academia. And usually, when it comes to them, actually, you know, like, like, get... Like, receiving the IP for, like, any, um, you know, like, popular, like, you know, um, content from a company and stuff like that, you know? What they would usually do, like, especially with My Hero Academia and stuff like that, you know? Like, once they made My Hero Academia, you know, like, sim like Battlegrounds game, um, they, like, took down, like, two of the most pop- Two, like, popular, like, anime, like, you know, game- Like, games and stuff revolving around My Hero Academia. Um, and- yeah, listen, there's just, there's just, like, so much, like, drama revolving around game fame and big games, which it's probably gonna, like, take me, like, like, min like probably hours to honestly, like, talk about all the drama, which I'm not gonna be here for all that, you know? And yeah, with, with even, like, all that drama, you know, with, like, big game fam and big games, um, Roblox still hasn't taken action, like, hasn't, like, taken any action on them and stuff, you know? Because, because, you know, like, the, like, you know, uh, like, games like Sonic Speed Simulator, which has 1 billion visits, you know, and, like, um, yeah, yeah with, like, Pet Simulator 99, which has, like, what, almost 9 billion bi visits, I'm pretty sure, you know, like, those games make them money, you know, and w without those games, they would not make money, so, you know, obviously, they don't really do jack shit to these games and stuff like that, you know, and, and they, and, and they, you know, take, take on more important things and take down, like, you know, Polar Cubs, like, at, like, cookie suit or something like that for being too inappropriate or whatever. Meanwhile, you know, like, someone you can just, you know, upload the entire Mickey Mouse costume on the marketplace, and yet they, they get off scot-free, you know? Like, see, like, right here, like, as soon as I open the marketplace and stuff like that, I'm already seeing, like, copyrighted, like, you know, characters and stuff like that, you know? Like, I got a Minecraft Villager, I got fucking Springtrap. Yeah, like, yeah, like, right, you can at least, yeah, you can at least see him right there. Like, a little bit, I guess, you know? Yeah, we got, like, The Flash, we got Spider-Man, we got The Warden, you know, the, the Joker, the fucking Batman, The Deep, you know? Like, the Angry Mushroom, if you know, you know? Like, you get it, right? Like, Roblox literally doesn't even bat an eye on the most, like, horrible things that are happening on Roblox right now. And always, and always like, you know, take action on the most innocent things ever and stuff like that, you know? Like, the... Yeah, like, I'm generally surprised that Roblox hasn't even heard of any of the drama, like, happening, you know, with Game Fam and big games, you know? And yeah, and, and yeah, like, you know, people, and yes, people still support the games and stuff like that, you know? Hundreds and thousands, hundreds of thousands of players and stuff, like, keep playing, you know, the games, like, every day, you know? Meanwhile, there's, a meanwhile, there's actual games out there that actually have effort put into them and stuff like that, you know? And yet they don't get any recognition from Roblox, you know, because it's always the big, mo it's always the big money makers, you know, that always get the recognition so that they can, you know, make some moolah. There was even this one time with big games where they, where they would like, you know, 
where they would make they made a NFTs, you know, NFTs like back in like 2021 to 2022, where people were basically, you know, li buy little images, images. They actually buy actual images that did jack jack shit, you know. And most of the time, it was it was literally just an ape, you know, just with like you know a different you know costume and stuff like that, you know. Which honestly, I could literally just screenshot the NFT and then boom, I got an NFT, you know, like. Like, why would you use your hard-working money just to buy an image that would just do jack shit? But, yeah. Anyways, uh, Big Games basically made NFTs once, you know? With, like, some, you know, pet similar, like, expats, you know? Where, like, if you bought the NFTs, then you, like, get some code or whatever that you get, like, an exclusive pet, you know? Like, they even, they even like, um, you know, released, like, some merch and stuff like that, you know? Um... Like, especially, like, this Titanic, like, this Titanic, you know, like, Red Bunny plushie or whatever, which was $299.99. $299.99. I'm gonna repeat that. $299.99%. Like, 99 cents, you know. Just, just for, just for a big... A big bunny plushie that was red, you know. And if you basically bought some of these plushies, then you basically get a code in the like in the in the pet simulator like games, um, and then you could be able to you know like per, like you know get exclusive items. Which I might be wrong for this, but I'm pretty sure that's against Roblox like TOS. You know, like you can't like you can't like you know like sell like actual merch that will basically give you like you know free items in, like, your game. I, I might be wrong for that. That's probably, uh, like, it was probably, like, something else or something like that that, that they, they broke and stuff like that, you know? Um, uh, but, like, you know, with, like, Roblox Piggy, you know, like, they released their own merch, you know? Like, with, like, you know, those mini figurines and stuff like that, you know? Um, and they, and, like, they didn't, like, you know, like, actually, they didn't, like, um, you know, like, give you, like, exclusive, like, you know, s items and stuff in the actual Piggy game, like, right here, they would actually give you, like, exclusive items in this, um, like, spin-off game called Piggy Hunt, which, if you don't know what Piggy Hunt was, um, it was basically, you know, just a Piggy mobile, you know, Piggy, like, like, you know, like, spin-off game where, you know, it was, it was basically just kind of, you know, the regular Roblox Piggy, but, you know, just, like, on the App Store or something like that, um, you, you yeah. And like I mentioned before, you know, like big games even like, you know, sued even like, you know, even like DMCA striked, you know, like small Roblox games, in fact, you know, small Roblox games, you know, like games that didn't even get like a million visits, you know, for using cubed pets, you know, you you probably heard of that story before, cubed pets, they got their Roblox game taken down for using cubed pets, pets that are cubed, pets that are square, square pets. Big games took down small Roblox games, you know, with, like, Roblox developers who didn't even get that much Robux from, from their, those games. Got their game taken down because they used cubed pets. Meanwhile, they they, they have almost 10 billion visits on uh, Petsy Billion 99, and, 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 yet, and, and, like, but, I'm just in disbelief, I swear to God. And once again, they, they're a fucking hypocrite for that, you know, because they're, because they, Lily, you they literally add luck, added lucky blocks to their, to their game, you know, which which were obviously made by Nintendo and stuff like that. And I'm and honestly, I'm just surprised that they even got they even get caught at this point, you know. Like hell, 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 they even like you know released, uh, yeah, they even released you know like like a SpongeBob update, you know. Yeah, a SpongeBob update. I don't know if this was like part of like you know the. I don't know if this was like part of like you know the SpongeBob's 25th anniversary. You know, but, yeah, they, they, they released, you know, like, a Spongebob update, you know, um, and honestly, like, you know, I, the, like, why doesn't Nickelodeon, like, do a little fact, like, read, like, fact check, you know, with, like, Game Fam and Big Games, you know? Like, if you don't, like, you know, if you don't know about Nickelodeon, um, let's just say they weren't too friendly in, like, the 2000s, you know? Like, if, if you want to know about the whole story, then just search up Quiet on Set or whatever, you know? Um... And yet, like, uh, they they did they didn't even like you know fact check f check you know um like game big game fam or big games you know and then just simply like you know just like like um gave them their i like IP and stuff for like SpongeBob you know like like 
they didn't even think about, you know, like, rechecking, like, like, their history and stuff like that, you know? Because, believe me, they have a pretty shitty history. And I'm pretty sure with all the backlash with, like, you know, those NFTs that I basically brought up, um, they, you know, obviously removed those NFTs tees and stuff like that, you know? Um, you know, even, like, I, I'm pretty sure I also remember, like, big games, even, um, big, like, you know, big games also, um, like, basically, like, released, like, like, you know, tweeted out, you know, like, a very controversial tweet about, you know, like, you know, free to play, like, you know, free to play players, you know, are just entitled or whatever, I think, from what he said, you know, and, uh, let's just say he did not, you know, like, he did not, you know, get the proper, you know, respect out of the people and stuff like that, you know, um, you know, like, and this is one that I mostly remember, you know, um, so we all know about badass experience, you know, like, they basically kind of revived, you know, the tycoon genre, I guess you could say, or basically kind of, like, you know, made an impact on the genre, you know, like, basically making a new, like, kind of idea, I guess you could say, with, you know, like, prove, prove mom wrong and stuff like that, you know, and my wife left me, tycoon. Yeah, uh, but they released, but they, um, released, like, this, the, this one tycoon called Feed Trash to Rich People, and when it first came out, um, they actually, they actually, um, used, they actually used one of the thumbnails, like, for, from, you know, like, one of Big Game, like, one of Preston's, um, old, um, you know, one of, one of Preston's, um, very old, you know, like, Roblox simulators called, um, My Restaurant, you know? Yeah, see this game. Feed and trash to rich people tycoon, you know. Um, and when it first came out, they basically kinda they they basically just, you know, um used one of his thumbnails from, you know, my restaurant and stuff like that, you know. And um Preston like did Preston like like responded to like, you know, replied to the like, you know, the tweet that, you know, badass experience said, you know, the new tycoon is out and stuff like that, you know. And he basically just said to, you know, like, please do not use his like thumbnail yeah, like, this, this, right, this, this is, like, the thumbnail they basically use. And what they did is that they obviously just took it and then just, and then just platted, you know, new pad, new pad, new pad, new pad, yeah, yeah, new pads, you know. Um, and Preston said, just, just please get rid of the thumbnail. And then the funny thing that Badass Experiences did is that he just straight up platted, platted, um, Preston's tweet, like, somewhere around here and stuff like that, you know. And then, what do you know? Preston and DMCA striked, um, you know, um, badass experiences and stuff, aka Joshua, to, you know, get rid of the thumbnail, you know, um, and so he did. He DMCA striked ba a badass experience game because of a thumbnail. That just made me lose some brain cells, I swear to God. Oh, and what do you know? R what do you, I mean, I'm on, I, I, I am on my restaurant, so... And yeah, what do you know? They even use AI icons. So not only do they own the rights to cute, p cute pets, but they also own the rights to some of their thumbnails. Wow. So fucking petty. And yeah, I want to also talk about, you know, Game Fam again, you know? Because, like I, like I mentioned before, um, whenever, you know, um, Game Fam collabs with, like, you know, a game like Sonic, like, you know, a company like Sonic's, like, you know, the Hedgehog and stuff like that, you know? Or, like, um, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Battle Tycoon. Um, whenever, like, they get the rights to, like, you know, a popular, you know, like, cut, like, media and stuff like that, you know, they always, like, take down, like, like, other Roblox games related to that and stuff like that, you know? Like, like I mentioned before, you know, once they got the IP to My Hero Academia, they took down, like, Anime Adventures and, like, another, like, Roblox game and stuff like that, you know? Um... And yeah, and, and and they honestly expected to let for like people to actually play their game, you know, which was like fifth, like fifty or seventy five Robux, you know, like as in beta mode. And what do you know? No one even played it. Like no one even bothered to play it because it looked so fucking shitty, you know. Like like, I I'm just generally surprised that you know companies like Nickelodeon, Sega, and stuff like that don't really fact check, you know, like. Um, game fam or anything like that, you know, like, they just, you know, oh, oh, you make Roblox games? Oh, oh, here's our IP. You, you can do whatever you want with it and stuff, you know, like, they don't, like, they don't, like, recheck, like, w like, their history and stuff like that, you know, because I'm pretty sure that's what, you know, companies are usually supposed to do when it comes to, you know, yeah, like, like, when you're getting hired, when you're getting hired, like, at a job, they have to, like, you know, check your digital footprint, um, and if it's, like, pretty bad, then they can't, you know, obviously, um, you know, hire you and stuff like that, you know, 
And it looks like right now, uh, these companies are doing a pretty shitty job at letting Game Fam use their IPs, you know. Especially Nickelodeon. Because if you didn't know, like about a few months ago, um, the Sandy Cheeks movie, actually, the whole movie, in fact, got leaked on Twitter. Yeah, you, you heard me. The full movie of, you know, the Sandy Cheeks movie, um, got leaked on Twitter. The whole movie. The whole, entire fucking movie. And this happened a second time, just like a few months, like, um, about a month or two ago. In which, um, the Plankton movie, um, got leaked as well on Twitter. Um, yeah, two Spongebob movies got, got leaked on Twitter in 2024. Both of them in 2024, in fact. That, that, that is just so fucking funny because Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon just has just very, a very, like, shitty security system or whatever it is to, you know, like, prevent, like, people from, you know, like, stealing their, you know, dad, like, you know, data and stuff like that. Like, it's literally just, like, the Roblox servers and stuff like that, you know? Like, all the servers are just running on a singular fucking banana. I, I swear to you, I swear to God, if you go to Roblox headquarters, you're, you're probably gonna see all the servers being r ran by a singular a banana. And probably this size, too, you know? Like, I had, I had a banana once that was, like, you know, very small, you know? So, yeah. That would probably be the size of the banana that all the server servers, like, run on, on Roblox, you know, including Nickelodeon, you know, because they don't really have a good security system on, you know, protecting their, like, you know, like, like, you know, hidden movies, you know, until, like, the release date and stuff like that, you know, like, Jesus. But, yeah, basically, in general, Game Fam and Big Games do not belong on Roblox. I'm just being straight up honest, Game Fam and Big Games do not belong on Roblox, you know, like, maybe, hopefully, someday, Roblox actually realizes that, um, what they're promoting to, you know, like, to, to, like, you know, players and stuff, um, the, you know, just, just, they, they should not do that, it's all like that, you know, like, they shouldn't, they, sh they, they shouldn't be, you know, promoting, like, games from, you know, Game Fam and, like, big games and stuff like that, you know, um, you, you know, because, it's just, you get it, but, yeah, yeah, once again, there's, yeah, Game Fam and big games have quite a lot of drama, you know, that once again, if I would have like you know explained all of their drama, then I would have I would have probably been here for like you know many hours and stuff like that, you know. So, uh, you know, f you know, so so basically, so if you want to like know some of the drama that you know Game Fam and Big Games got into and stuff like that, then I suggest like you know searching it up on internet like YouTube or like Twitter and stuff like that, you know, because there's gonna be a good there's a good chance that a lot of video a lot of YouTubers have already talked about the drama and stuff like that, you know. Um, and yet, and, and, and yet, in 2024, you know, in September, Roblox still doesn't do jack shit when it comes to game fam and big games, because once again, they make the money, you know, especially, uh, shit, um, especially with, um, you know, games that get 1 billion visits, you know, um, it, like, yeah, like, so, so, um, just for, just remember, just remember, viewers, um, if the game, if the Roblox game makes the money, Roblox doesn't do jack shit. Even when it comes to, you know, very bad things when the creator does something, you know. And I mean, very, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, just in general, do not play any game fam games or big games, you know, because they have quite a terrible history, you know, so. Yeah. And some, and honestly, I kind of regret actually playing their games, actually, you know. Yes, I know, I actually played some of their games, you know. I played Pet Simulator X, you know, Sonic Speed Simulator, and I'm pretty sure that was actually before I actually, you know, heard about, you know, all of their drama, you know, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, don't blame me, you know. I was only, like, 10 or, like, 12 or 11 or 12 or whatever. I, I don't know, but, um, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that was, like, before I actually, he like, heard about the drama, you know, with Game Fame and Big Games, you know. Um, so... But yeah, they're obviously, the videos are obviously deleted now and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, and that's exactly why there's a Roblox note and stuff like that. Do not suggest me any Roblox games made by Game Fam or Big Games, you know? Because I do not want to be associated with that kind of shit, you know? Especially with all the drama they've been into. And yet people, and yet like thousands and hundreds of thousands of people still play their games to this day. Why? I don't know. They're, they're probably just meat riders. Who knows? But yeah, even when you like, you know, criticize Game Fam or Big Games, you know? They're little meat riders. They're, they're little like hog hog hoglins and they're little gremlins. While you know like bash you on Twitter and stuff like that. You know like doxing doxing you and stuff like that. You know 
Because you, you disrespected their glorious, their glorious majesty king, you know, so. Yeah. Um, do, do not play, do not, do, do not support game fam. Do not support fake games. You get, you get the shit, so. Yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Puggy Boys YT's on right now, and I'll see you guys next video. As always, peace out.